I just have to make a quick announcement. This is the first time I'll ever be doing this, but this is the F Legion's first official money move. So if you hit this move in competition, I'll pay you $100. But it has to be on video. And it has to be the, the setup from the knee bar. If you can hit Chris Gardner's move, he and I will give you $100. Chris? So after you do that to someone once or twice, they're probably not gonna try and put you in lockdown anymore because even if it doesn't work, they can see you're trying something. So if you go for it and they kind of see like, I don't know what's happening, but it feels like he's intentionally doing something, I should probably free myself. A lot of times they'll just let go before you actually put the position locked in. But that doesn't mean you still can't have fun with this. So let's turn you at like an angle this way. Yeah, just right here. Now, a little more actually, like here. So if, if she's not taking the bait, or she's just not putting me in lockdown, and it's not something I even have to worry about here, like this, it, this would just be, no, this is still lockdown, but maybe she's not extending it, or maybe you just don't even have it. You just have regular half guard, and they don't want to put you in lockdown again. All I'm going to do is a back step here. When I back step here, I'm going to start to attack a knee bar. When I go for the knee bar, she has to defend the knee bar by... What would you do to defend the knee bar, Paige? Would you figure for your legs, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yes. She would figure for her legs here. And now I don't really have the knee bar attack anymore, right? So then what I'm going to do is put my foot over her ankle. And now I've tricked her because I'm going to plant my hands again, keeping this foot hooked. And then get to the position again. So you can do this even if someone doesn't put you in lockdown. That's the beauty of it. And this was, this move was invented by one of our blue belts here. This was invented by Chris Gardner, if you can believe it or not. He came here, only, he only did lapel guard, never would do anything else. I don't know if you ever rolled with Chris Gardner. He just tries to wrap the lapel around your head. <laughs> That's all he does, like just around your head. And then he just was like, hey, Sunshine, look at this move I made up. He's just never done it before. He just, I don't know how it came to him, but it's genius. So you're in half guard like this. Maybe I can't pass the half guard, whatever. I'll back step. This is an especially good counter if you lose an underhook fight. So if she wins the underhook fight, I can't do much from here, but I can back step. And that can kind of remove some of the underhook control that she had here. And I'll, if she has it this way, I, I can't lock her into the position. I could potentially still get it if, I, if I'm here, but it's gonna be a lot better if I threaten the knee bar and she defends the knee bar. And then I don't necessarily have to use my hand. I can kind of use my foot to lock it in place. And now as long as I curl my toes really far, she shouldn't be able to unhook it or she probably won't even notice in time. And I just have to get those toes to the mat as soon as possible. Here. Okay? Any questions? Let's do it. On two, one, two. Now you're just doing normal half guard as the person on bottom, just regular half guard. They back step and try and get to a knee bar position. And then when they figure four, you're gonna hook their ankle. Nice. Very good. The more you straighten the leg, the better though. Like lean, yeah, lean back. 